Hello everyone, welcome to Rushchem summary videos. In this video, I'm summarizing the lesson fuel cells. The fuel cell is also a galvanic cell in which the reactants are supplied continuously, allowing constant production of electrical energy. So not like the normal galvanic cell, the fuel cells can produce electricity continuously because the reactants are being supplied continuously. Because it is a galvanic cell in a fuel cell, the anode is uh, negative and the cathode is positive. An important, important point to remember, the overall reaction happening in a fuel cell is the combustion is the combustion of the fuel. So if the fuel is uh, something like methane, so the methane gas will undergo combustion to give carbon dioxide and water. There are different types of fuel cells available. So here I have taken hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So this is the diagram of a hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So you can see when I say hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, the fuel is hydrogen gas. So, so you have a hydrogen gas coming from one side and then the oxygen gas enter the fuel cell. So remember in a fuel cell, uh, the, the oxidation ha happens, the oxidation is the fuel. So in this case, the hydrogen gas is the fuel, therefore the fuel will undergo oxidation. So, and we know oxidation is at the anode. That's why my anode reaction is starting with hydrogen. And in a fuel cell, the oxygen gas is undergoing reduction. So reduction happens at the cathode. So in other words, I can say in this fuel cell, hydrogen gas is the reductant and oxygen gas is undergoing reduction. Therefore, it is the oxidant. So hydrogen gas is undergoing oxidation. and oxygen gas undergoing reduction. Okay, now we will look at the equations. So because hydrogen gas is undergoing oxidation, that happens at the anode. And it depends on the reaction, depends on the type of the electrolyte that I'm using. So now in this case, I have taken acidic electrolyte. So in that case, hydrogen gas can, un can become H plus. So we, in, if the conditions are acidic, I can use H plus in my equations. So you can also find these reactions in your data book um, under electro, in electrochemical series. So H2, so H2 is undergoing oxidation, therefore it is the reductant. So in your data book, you check the right hand side, right in your, in, in your electrochemical series, you check the right hand side. So hydrogen gas will undergo oxidation to make H plus. You can find this reaction at zero volt, at zero V. The cathode reaction. So cathode reaction is from oxygen where oxygen is undergoing reduction. You can also find this reaction in the electrochemical series. So we are O2 is going to uh, water with 4H plus and 4E. Or else you can uh, balance this equation using, using the Cohes method. We discussed about the Cohes method under redox chemistry video, under redox chemistry. So using Cohes method, I can balance uh, the reaction of oxygen going to water. So after that, you add the two reactions together. We also learned that in the previous video. So you get the overall reaction. So now what is special about this overall reaction? You can see in this overall reaction, the H2 and O2 is combining to make water, so which is the combustion of hydrogen. That's why I said before, in a fuel cell, the fuel is undergoing combustion. Okay, now we will see the same fuel cell under alkaline conditions. So it is the same fuel cell uh, with hydrogen and oxygen, but my electrolyte is, is an alkali, so with, which has OH minus 10, right? So the same uh, theory to apply, the hydrogen gas will undergo oxidation, so which is at the anode then, the oxygen gas, will undergo reduction, which is at the cathode. But the equations are different now. You can't have H plus. Your equation should uh, start, uh, should have OH minus instead of H plus. So you can also find these reactions, uh, these, these two reactions in your data book. 
So because hydrogen gas is the one which undergoes oxidation, now in your electrochemical series, you check the right hand side. So there are two reactions with uh, hydrogen gas. So one is at zero, where H2 is going to 2H plus. I can't take that equation now because the conditions are alkaline, so I'm not allowed to use H plus. The other equation is this, where H2 plus 2OH minus is going to water and 2E, so that is the oxidation. And from the left-hand side of the electrochemical series, for the reduction of uh, oxygen, I need to select uh, this equation where you have OH minus involved in the reaction. So don't select any equations with H plus because H plus means when you have acidic conditions. Now your electrolyte is alkaline, that's why I'm selecting the reaction uh, with OH minus. Again, you add these two reactions together before you add. So we learned that uh, you need to multiply the first equation by two to make the electrons equal. So after that you add them and you get the overall. So we'll see that overall reaction again is the same as before and it is the combustion of fuel because in both uh, fuel cells, your fuel is hydrogen gas. So the combustion of hydrogen gas is H2 plus O2 given H2O. Okay, so in this I'm showing how to convert uh, the half equations written in acidic conditions to alkaline conditions. Because we know how to write half equations in acidic conditions using Cohes method. Cohes method we learned in one of the previous videos uh, under redox chemistry. So how? So if you have a if you have written the equation under acidic conditions, so like uh, this equation, how do you make it a uh, equation? How do you make it to Alkaline, alkaline condition equation. So acidic conditions equations, they have H pluses. Uh, when you make it to alkaline conditions, you can't have those H pluses. So what I do to get rid of these H pluses, I add OH minus. Okay, so I'll rewrite the reaction. So it's H2 is going to 2H plus and 2E. Now to get rid of these two H pluses, I add two OH minuses. So when you add in OH minuses, you add to both sides because I'm adding two OH minuses to the right side. I also need to add two OH minus to the left side. Okay, so now what will happen, this two H plus and that two OH minus will combine to make to water, it will make two H2O. Okay, now write uh, the reaction. So it is H2 plus two OH minus is given two H2O plus two E. So this is the same equation that I had in the previous slide with alkaline conditions. Okay, now we will also look at the next equation with oxygen. Okay, so in this equation, you got O2, 4H plus and 4E going to two water, right? So I want to change, uh, I want to remove these 4H pluses Therefore, I add 4OH minus to both sides, right? So I can't just add the 4OH minus only to the left side. So if you add in OH minus, you should add to both sides because I have 4H plus on left. I add 4OH minus, 4OH minus to the left and also therefore to the right side. Okay, so now you can combine this 4H plus and 4H minus. Okay, now combine them. So, so I'll write here. So it's O2 plus, so 4H plus and 4OH minus is giving four water. And then you got four E, four electrons, and 2H2O. and 4OH minus. OK, 
Okay, now you can see you got a vote on both sides. So I got a four H2O on left and two H2O on the right side. So I can cancel all these two H2O and I can write two vote there, which, which means my final equation is O2 plus two H2O plus four E going to four OH minus. Okay, so that this is the same equation I had for hydrogen oxygen fuel cell under alkaline conditions. You also got this equation in your electrochemical series, but if the equation is not given in the electrochemical series, this is how you convert, uh, how do you write in alkaline conditions? So first you write your equation in acidic conditions using uh, Cohes method. After that, you add OH minuses to balance those H plus and get the final equation. Okay, now we look at how to write the equations in methanol oxygen fuel cell. Okay, so we know that in any fuel cell, the overall reaction is a combustion. So, so in this case, methanol is undergoing combustion. So combustion is that CH3OH methanol reacting with oxygen to make carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so then after that, you can uh, balance the equation. So this is the overall reaction. So I started with overall reaction because I know it's a combustion. So therefore I can straight away write that. So now look at the overall reaction and get the anode and the cathode equation. So anode is where the met so anode is oxidation where the fuel, which is methanol is undergoing oxidation. So you can see from the overall, so methanol is becoming carbon dioxide. So methanol is going to CO2. And cathode is where the oxygen, so in fuel cell, oxygen gas is undergoing reduction. So therefore cathode, the oxygen gas is going to what? Water. So from the overall, you can find it, O2 is going to water. So now you write O2 is going to water. So how do you balance the rest of those two equations? For that, I can use the Cohes method. So we'll just do one uh, equation. So I write uh, K-O-H-E-S. So K is the key element. So now in this case, I have CH3OH going to CO2. So key element is carbon that's balanced. So then O, oxygen. To balance oxygens, I'm using water. So left, left side, I got one oxygen. Right hand side, I got two oxygens. Therefore, the left side needs one more oxygen. So to balance oxygens, I'm using water. So just add one H2O to the left hand side. Okay, so K, O, then H, hydrogens. So left side, how many hydrogens we got? You got three here, four, five, six. This side doesn't have any hydrogens. Therefore, you should add hydrogens to the right hand side. To balance hydrogens, I'm using H plus. So now add, because you need six hydrogens, so you add six H pluses to the um, right hand side. Then the electrons. So you can see there's no charges on the left side. The right side is six plus because it's six into H plus or so six plus. So therefore I add six electrons. So you can see then that equation is oxidation, which is the oxidation of the fuel. So like that, using the Cohes method, I can, um, I can balance the equations in acidic conditions. Hope you enjoyed my video. So now it's time to do questions. You can find the uh, questions and summary notes on on, on my study guide on pages uh, 44 to 50. And if you have any further questions, uh, you can email me or else you can visit our website, www.roshchem.com for further information. I will see you in next video. Thank you.